guys welcome back i'm right at it again guys i'm here with, with two topics but let me begin with siloni i was listening to trend, trending trending drama and i realized that um siloni siloni she's really um she's really an unsatisfied person and sometimes she come off as being ungrateful yes people i mean she called Dwayne. Dwayne was on his live she called him she was telling him about um um prudence some prudence called auntie dana and telling auntie dana about tank and she didn't tell prudence so call auntie dana and Dwayne said why prudence would just take it up on her head to call planka bass on your behalf while she could have called him Dwayne. So um Dwayne say he would have sent the money to you know fix the tank and whatever and Siloni said no bother with it no 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 send the money me want me want the food send money for, for, for the food um tank can stay there me hungry and she rather much so Dwayne said to her um ten he, he has given them you know per week Siloni is getting ten thousand dollar people out of grocery for herself. What you do with it? I don't know. Dwayne even go as far as say he heard she selling the groceries. She was hungry and alive and said people chat too much and she not sell no grocery and if them are minor, if them are send money con gear and you know she come off she she she, she come off to be ungrateful at most of the time. But we have to take um in consideration she's sick. She's mentally challenged. You know, but at the same time, um, if she's on her medication, can me know a lot of mentally challenged people. Me know, and from once they're on their medication, number one, they function normal, they can go and look at work, and they can do anything. Yes, they can do anything. From once you take your medication, you you become normal again you have to just continue to take the medication so that you can look work siloni is just there waiting on and out and everything so she's selling doing ten thousand can i ask her how much money she said ten thousand dollar out of grocery she cannot feed her and he heard on the other hand that um she had cooked meat for breakfast meat for dinner two times a day she had cooked and look at it um joseph is there along with his um, baby mother is there it is not fair for donors to be sending money to feed Saloni plus Joseph and his baby mother Joseph is about um, gonna be about 1920 this year so he's all enough to go and look at work because NC is getting um, he's having a baby on the way so who's gonna take care of the baby hmm? who's gonna take care of the baby so Joseph needs to go and look at work. That's what I'm um, doing was encourage, so he's encouraging them because he's not going to feed them for a lifetime. He's encouraging them, Joseph and him woman, for go and look at work so, so that, um, you know, they can help out Siloni. Because Siloni is not really capable of working. But I'm saying if once she's on her medicine, she can work. Yes, she can work. And it is so unfair for um, for him to be sending ten thousand dollars out of gross to streets for her each week, and she just eating them off like you know there is no tomorrow and so forth. And uh, and she is behaving as if it is a must. People must help her. That's the attitude I'm 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 getting from her. It, it have to come. It must come somewhere somehow. It must come. No, people are not obligated to help you people are not obligated is because of the goodness of people's heart why they send the money to to do it they don't have to do it and these are the people makes it so bad for people who are so 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 badly in need to get money because some of them they come off a scammer scamming the donors taking when they get the money they're distributed they get here there and everywhere because money will come money will come people have to work for their money so lonely people have to work do all kind of work that you probably don't want to do people have to do it because of the kind of, to send money come and give you they didn't have to do it 
and you 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 are behaving as people um 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 why not call it now bound for send them money come give you you and joseph joseph is all enough to go and look work when me and 19 years old me i work not even i work me i walk me i walk for feed myself and walk for send myself but go back to school so joseph is a man he can do it he needs to man up and he has a baby on the way he's a father to be huh you need to be man up he's no longer the little 16 year old that we saw um a few years back came on donna's show no he's a grown ass guy now you're dead doing said Joe him now um um he must send the money the food for for, for so long now for feed no growing ass man where i have uh, i do the salsa with the woman in the house you know what i mean the salsa dance yeah them i do the salsa you know what i mean you understand so if him old enough to do the salsa him and his girlfriend him old enough to go and work and plus a baby's on the way you're old enough to go and work and keep your mouth out of people people's mouth keep your name out of people's mouth you are your mother mouth i'm um, name out of people's mouth man it no sound good and it no look and it, it doesn't look right it doesn't look good at all it doesn't look good and the lady um doing was also saying um dana has done enough for selene selene dana has um gotten millions millions has taken them from the rat infested place she and Joseph a few years back and built them a nice two bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, whatever. You saw the place, festive and nice, looking really good. You understand me? Dana is not obligated to help Saloni all the days of her life. That's what Duane was saying. But because he knows her family in real life, he really knows all of them and he loves her. That's why he, he, he's helping her. That's the only reason why he's helping. But he's not going to do it for long. He's not going to do it forever, he said. He will not do it forever. He just wants to encourage Joseph and his girlfriend to go and look a job. Because as they get $10,000 of food is enough. And him saying he'll cut the money. He says he's going to cut it and give people who are in need. He's going to cut our money. So now she calling and being so greedy. And, and and acting, getting calling people all over the place. Him says she had called people all over the place for money. And he's supporting her. Because when she called these other donors, it looks as if, you know, he's not supporting. And he say he feels bad because he knows that he's taking care of her, giving her money, every, giving her her food, you know, grocery every week. And when she called these people, so that, and them called plank about, it looks like he's not doing it. And he feels bad about it. And that is not right. I mean, you know, Selene needs to be more satisfied. And also Joseph and his girlfriend. Because if you get $10,000 of food, take your time and use it, no man. Take your time and use it. Because you don't know if next week another a portion of grocery is going to come to you. Nothing going not to last forever. Only salvation only salvation lasts forever so you don't know you are not sure if ten thousand dollar more grocery will come so take your time eat cook your meat one 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 once per day and back it up with liquid this and liquid that and take on the time and eat and just a yum 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 and joseph you can go and look at work and i agree that your girlfriend is pregnant right now so she may not you know um, able to work but you can look at work you can go and you still can work and send yourself to school a lot of young people uh, have done it so you will not be the first or the last to work and send yourself to school and work and take care of your mother so that her name shall not be in people's mouth for them to dispute and talking bad things about you all it does not look right. This is how you want to live for the rest of your life. And donors money. And for for uh, from once the donors are sending their money. And they're entitled to say all kind of things from their mouth towards you guys. And it doesn't look good. You don't want to you don't want to seem like you're a worthless, you're a worthless man. You don't want to come across like you're worthless. When people constantly have your name in their mouth. 
it, it it's a curse it is a curse it eventually become a curse when they keep on talking bad things about you joseph this joseph that 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 it eventually become a curse people start look on you like you're a worthless person and you are a little boy that i um admired from the first time you came and auntie dana's program i admired how humble you were and how ambitious you were you graduated from high school with a number of subject subjects use it go and look a job now so that you can take care of yourself your girlfriend and your mom and eventually in and save a little bit in, eventually in the future you know you can send yourself back to school because you said you wanted to become a doctor that carry that that shouldn't be out the window that's your dream it should never be out the window but for now take care of your mom and you all take time and eat the food and, and take time with the donor's money. You can't keep squandering it out here and there and everywhere. Because eventually they're going to, you know, um, be frustrated and, 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 and stop sending um, you guys money. Because there are other people out there who really, really, really and truly would even glad forget a drop out of the bucket. Even a drop out of the bucket won't they get. A lot of people would be grateful for that you all have gotten a lot out of donors a lot 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 and guys i would encourage you guys to go and listen to duane's live and and listen to trending drama and you will see and hear how Siloni sound and that because she sounds really really angry um she she, she came off to me as being very greedy and ungrateful and um she needs to be more humble and Go and look on work. Go on your medication and go and look at work because a lot of mentally ill people all over the place, and they are they are taking their medication and they are working. So you can do the same, Saloni. You can do it. So the next story, people. Um, I was listening to Auntie Donna's life. People, some friend and family are fake. Some friend and your friend. I was listening to her and um, this young lady called to her called in and said to her um, you know she wasn't working but she got a job um, she heard of a job and she was telling her friend about the job and the friend um, said to her but you don't have the qualification for the job you don't have the you know subjects for the job so you're not qualifying so qualified for the job so the girl said you know she got um, you know this courage you know our self-esteem went down like bang you know yeah tell your friend something your, your friend's supposed to you know be happy for you and encourages you even if you don't have the subject for the job or whatever the qualification but at least encourage you to go and see if you really can get it at least go and try so the friend you no know, do nothing but discourage her say she not qualified for the job and the girl's self-esteem went down like downhill and everything so when she look now one day she see her friend a pass like her friend ago so she say you get work so the friend say yes yeah. so she say oh you get work and they tell me so she tell her i said didn't tell you i i am um, because i got the same job that you you you, you were inquiring about but you, the, the same job that you wasn't qualified for and because i am qualified i got it and she was like really and she was saying to herself, I mean, her friend, her best friend, I mean, got the job and didn't even come and tell her that she get the job. You know, and she feel, she said she now got to talk back to the girl ever, ever, ever again. She now got to talk and Auntie Dana agree. So Auntie Dana was encouraging people, when you have your dream, your aspiration, your goal, whatever, not tell, not tell it to people, keep it to yourself and wait till things happen. But me add to that, and uh, not even a friend, some family wicked as well. Some family will, 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 would have done the same thing to look like what a friend they do. So I no friend alone, family, some of them are easy, they wicked bad. Yes, yeah, so I mean, you know, when you have your dreams, you know, keep it sometimes, you know, to yourself. Don't tell anybody anything until it actually happens you actually get get the job then you probably can share with the person you actually get the house you actually get whatever you're dreaming of 
you know you got it right there so you can uh, you, you know you can share it with them afterwards but not tell like uh, some of them will just steal a joy steal a dream steal it beat you down discourage you and if they can mess it up they mess it up definitely so people I'm going back to work so this is my little time out to come and make this little video video so continue to you know like my page if you want to talk to me meet me on um, Island Vibes with Raquel on Facebook and Instagram Island Vibes with Raquel so people keep your dream and aspiration to yourself do not share it with either friend or family share it with God go down for your knees and pray and when you dream and everything work out then you can share it have a beautiful day Ciao, I'm Hoda Veer.